Hello everyone! Today I want to share with you a trip that I made to b and photo. As the name implies, it's a store that sells video and photography equipment. It is in Manhattan. They've been in business for many, many years. And as far as I know, they are the largest retailer of photo and video equipment. However, they also have other things. And I went yesterday. It is enormous. It is over two floors. And they have a very peculiar way of handling the selling of merchandise. When you walk into the store, everything that you see there is just for show. The items that you actually get to take home are in a stock room. So the process is this. When you want something, you talk to one of the sales assistants. They will ask you what you want. They take the information, they take your information, and then they recall the item. After the item comes from the warehouse, it goes around the store through a, a system of conveyor belts. And I'm going to enter the video so that you know what I'm talking about. But it is pretty cool. Basically the idea is that you're not walking around the store with a bunch of merchandise that is going to be heavy and also there's more potential for theft that way. Once you're ready to pay, you take the slip that you got from the sales assistant to the register, you pay for your item and then the cashier sends you to merchandise pickup. And it is there where you get your merchandise. It is actually a pretty cool system. And today from that trip I want to share with you three things. First, I'm going to unbox this me photo tripod it is called the backpacker and it is a small lightweight tripod that as the name implies you can carry with you when you go backpacking for me the idea was to have a tabletop tripod but also a tripod that i can take around the city when i'm shooting here's the tripod i'm gonna go ahead and open it it is the of plastic bag and it comes in its own travel bag. Very useful for what it is, a backpacking or a travel tripod. And then the tripod comes inside another bag. And it is actually folded with the legs in the wrong direction that they're normally going. This is so the tripod can be easily transported and assembling it's easy. You just pull the legs down and the legs have this little clip where you push on them and then they lock in place. The next item I'm going to open up is an Olympus 12 millimeter lens for Micro Four Thirds camera. It is the 35 millimeter equivalent of 24 millimeters and that's a lot of millimeters. It is very small, but it is for small cameras, so it is to be expected. And last but not least, I am going to open up a Rode VideoMic Pro. It's inside a plastic case inside its box. The microphone has a shock mount. This is little rubber bands that you see here. Uh, and this bit connects to the audio input in your camera and this part goes in the hot shoe of your camera. And yes, it does look rather phallic, I'm afraid. I hope you enjoy the items as much as I enjoy buying them and showing them to you. If you would like an in-depth look at any of them, do let me know in the comments, not that anyone comments. But I will do my best. I will say though that everything that I do in this channel is based in my experiences. I am not an expert. I am not getting paid by any of these companies. I'm certainly not getting paid by B&H Photo. I'm just a loyal customer. I've been their customers for many, many years and I'm just happy with their service. And if you're ever in New York City, I do hope you have the opportunity to visit the Superstore and I think you will be very pleased, especially if you like photography and videography. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it.